I am Patty Rogers Wilson and thank you for joining us for our first episode of Great Movies where I will do one of my favorite things in the whole world is get to talk about movies. There are movies, these are movies that I think are great. They're not necessarily classic movies but they're just movies I personally think are great. These are movies that I will watch over and over again. I will tell you, be telling you about the movies, lots of trivia, if it won awards, who was in it, gossip I heard about it, that sort of thing. These movies are available to check out from the Glenville Public Library and from the rest of the Ahupi System Libraries. For today's episode, we will be talking about the 1980 comedy parody, Airplane, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. Can you believe Airplane is 40 years old? I couldn't. I had to take out a piece of paper and a pencil and do the math. And I still don't want to believe it. Oh well, time and tide waits for no man or movie. Airplane was written and directed by David and Jerry Zucker and Jim Abram and produced by John Davison. Released by Par Paramount Pictures, it stars Robert Hayes, Julie Haggerty, and features Leslie Nelson, Robert Hayes, Lloyd Bridges, Peter Graves, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Laura Patterson, and Steven Stucker. Airplane was a critical and a financial success. It was filmed on a budget of $3.5 million, which, makes, which it made back in five days. It grossed $158 million worldwide. I personally love Airplane. It makes me smile just to think about it. I still have to stop myself whenever when some, someone says something like, Surely you don't mean that. I really, really want to say, I do mean that. And don't call me Shirley. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. If you have never seen the airplane, you are missing out on a special treat. Let me warn you, the humor is not subtle. Would you like a little whiskey, man? Certainly not. I read somewhere that the humor in Airplane is like a shotgun blast, just spraying all over the place. There is every sort of humor in it. Surreal, fast-paced, slash stick, sophomore. Thicker. And Leon's getting larger. Satire, raunchy, and lots, and lots of politically incorrect. Just about every kind of humor, but sophisticated. Don't worry if there's there's going to be something in there to offend everyone. To quote the journalist and critic Brian Reisman, 40 years later, Airplane feels so wrong for its political incorrect jokes and raunchy theatrics, but that's actually what makes it so right. It reminds us of the importance of pushing boundaries. At the same time, it gives us a playbook for doing so in a good-natured rather than a vicious or belittling way. Roger Ebert said the film compensates for a lack of original comic invention by its willingness to steal, beg, borrow, and rewrite from anywhere. It is no secret that the basic plot from the movie, it is, is stolen from the movie Zero Hour, a 1957 thriller wrote by Arthur Haley and starring Dana Andrews. Uh, Arthur Haley also wrote Airport. In fact, they used the, the movie so much that they had to buy the remake rights from it so they wouldn't get sued. For anyone who has never seen Airplane, here's the basic plot. The movie is a takeoff on all flight disaster movies that were so popular at the time. Airplane is almost exactly follows the plot of Zero Hour. Ted Stryker is traumatized, is a traumatized war veteran with a pathological fear of flying and a drinking problem. He can't take a drink without splashing it on his face. His girlfriend, a stewardess, has left him and he is taking this flight in hopes of winning her back. A lot of passengers become very sick after eating the in-flight meal. Then the pilot and the co-pilot become sick, pass out, and you guessed it, the only person on board who can fly this airplane is Ted Stryker. Doctor, I've checked everyone. Mr. Stryker's the only one. What flying experience have you had? Oh, I flew single-engine fighters in the Air Force, but this plane has four engines. It's an entirely different kind of flying, altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind of flying. A bit of trivia, Robert Hayes, who plays Ted Stryker, is actually a licensed pilot. 
He just can't drive the great big ones like he's doing in this movie. Airplane was Julie Haggerty's first movie. She also played Richard Dreyfuss' wife in the 1991 movie, What About Bob? Which is another movie I really like. She's still acting today. Her latest movie was 2019's A Marriage Story. The actors Leslie Nelson, Robert Stack, Lloyd Bridges, and Peter Graves were all actors known for their no-nonsense, tough guy hero type parts. They were cast because of this and told to deliver their lines as if they were not in a comedy, but in a deadpan manner. Leslie Nelson was having trouble understanding this and he kept asking the directors things like, what is my motivation? Robert Stack told him, Leslie, just say the lines. We are the jokes. Obviously, Leslie Nelson figured it out because he had a second career in comedy from being an airplane with the Naked Gun movies and with others. Me, Frank, your buddy. Uh, Cuban? Uh, no, Dutch Irish. My father was from Wales. As a matter of fact, most of the actors were able to use the success of Airplane to change directions into comedy and extend their careers for years. The wonderful Stephen Stucker, who plays Johnny Jacobs, an employee at the airport, was a member of Kentucky Fried Theater sketch comedy troupe, which was founded by the directors of Airplane. They knew his talent and they gave him everybody else's lines and then let him write his own. Here's an example. When asked what kind of plane it is, he replies, Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes and curtains in the window and wheels and it looks like a big Tylenol. He does this sort of thing all through the movie. I can identify with this because this is sort of the way I describe cars, planes, trains, most everything. Lloyd Bridges is hilarious with his running joke about that he has picked the bad day to quit everything from smoking to sniffing glue. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. A little trivia here. Ethel Merman's wonderful self-parody in Airplane was her last screen role. If my rattlings have convinced you to watch Airplane, please don't turn it off until you read the ending credits. You won't regret it. A couple of them are Worst Boy, Adolf Hitler, author of A Tale of Two Cities, Charles Dickens. After, after the one where they tell you that you can end up in jail and pay a huge fine if you copy the movie, it says, so there. Apparently, the FBI did not think that was as funny as I do. The directors of Airplane said that the FBI asked them to remove it, but fortunately for us, it was already too late. How are the passengers doing? I won't deceive you, Mr. Stryker. We're running out of time. Shirley, there must be something you can do. I'm doing everything I can. Now stop calling me Shirley. I hope I've told you just enough to make you want to watch Airplane again, or maybe to watch it for the first time. If you didn't get enough trivia, stop by the library and I will be happy to just go on and on and on about it. If this doesn't turn out to be too awful, we may see you again next month with another recommendation for you to watch. Bye. Passengers certain to die. Airline negligent. There's a sale at Penny's.